Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who has risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs of secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, we are nearing the time of the end times of the Bible, when the beast will be released from the bottomless pit, just as shown here in this magazine cover, with Vladimir Putin and China and North Korea all rising, and even a great worldwide earthquake, and something even happening to Trump Tower, and then the wheel of the Great Tribulation coming. This picture is a picture of the number 322 which we are coming up on that date, that does not mean that something will happen on that day or that the whole earth will blow up on that date. But you can see here, 322, March 22nd, is associated with the Freemasons and Skull and Bones. It represents the V, when the fifth angel comes with the key to open the abyss. See the V right there? So 322 has a beginning and an end to it. Revelation 322 is, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And there are these seven letters to the churches, talking about the end times and judgments all coming. And then when you turn the letters around, or the numbers around, it represents the end. The end of the curse that's coming. 223. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. That's what this represents. We have to get past this time. We are on this time right now. We have to pass over all of this and get past what is known as the fifth age. And then we are grafted into the tree of God and it's the new age all coming. These signs are shown all around us. It's centered upon this woman of Revelation 12. The same thing as in your Star Wars movie. Do you see Princess Leia on the moon? That is what this symbolism represents. The dragon comes after the woman. The woman and Michael fight the dragon. And then she is granted the wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. And then there is war. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make work, war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. War. War all coming. Do you see the 223 part? This is the new new fountain over here, but this one's getting destroyed on that side. There is the dragon all coming. See Russia and everybody ready to rise up, North Korea, China. China is a dragon. This area right here in Los Angeles maps these things that are coming. For one thing, we show that the whole world is as a matrix. This is all going right by scripture. And again, we are not predicting dates, but there is a number over here. We're going to take a look at it. This is an area where Katy Perry is buying this one old convent here, and the judge has granted it to her. Katy Perry moves closer to purchasing coveted Las Feliz convent after judge's ruling because she represents this woman. Not her personally. This is all symbolism, just as Carrie Fisher in Star Wars, and she just passed away. See the woman on the moon that is ready to get her wings of the great eagle. The judge just granted it to her. See the judge is giving her the wings of the eagle. She can buy this convent that is right there. Do you see the wings of the great eagle passing over the bear coming? See the bear, Russia coming? And then over here you can see the five, the fifth angel. And legion, who is many, a demon that is coming. See the V right there? and even Michelangelo right there. See that big V? The time of judgment is coming. But there's the eagle as we've been showing. Now we don't know about a date, but let's look at something. I can fly. Three twenty-two. Do you see that right there? 322 right on this all kids can fly because in the Bible Michael stands up for the kids that's what it says Michael stands up to help the kids
And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was, since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So you can see all of that right there. The woman is being granted the wings of the great eagle. So everything is being prepared. That does not mean that everything starts right now. All kids can fly. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. See, the V is coming, as we've been showing. Just as right there. It's known as a curse that comes upon the world until we get all the way to till it's reversed and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and the lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him and they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads and there shall be no night there and they need no candle neither light of the sun for the Lord God giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever that represents Oops. Right there. When we get finally way over here. See the light at the top and the new staff. And the nations. See the world is cracked in half from World War Three coming. And this is what the time of healing that will be coming. But great destruction is coming now. See the V. Thank you very much everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And thank the Lord God. He's got it all under control. Let's keep faith. Don't forget, finish the race and keep the faith. The devil tries to break our faith every single day. All of your hardships and everything, trying to get you to blaspheme God and try to turn away from him. Keep faith. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah.